Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm back in my kitchen and today I'm joined by Rhiannon. Hello. So <laughs> Rhiannon is not only a friend of mine, but also a super nutritionist. Um, and we are going to be making a recipe out of her book, which I'm lucky enough to have. Um, obviously I'll leave a link to this below in the description box. Um, but basically I feel like it's best if Rhiannon kind of explains what you do, what you're yeah. about, your kind of relationship with nutrition and also what's in your book. Honestly, nutrition is something I completely, I just feel so passionately about. So for those of you that don't know, I have a clinic on Harley Street where I specialize in clients that may have um, eating disorders, mm -hmm. weight management stuff, and even sports nutrition. So they're the three areas that I kind of work with. Predominantly, I'd say I see a lot of relationships with food. So that's something I'm very passionate about. So I think everyone has a relationship. Definitely. With so what I do with Retrition, which is my social media handle on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I just try and spread a healthy message. And I think that if you understand what you eat, you can make good choices. It's yes. all about, it's about education yeah. and knowing what you're doing yeah. and why you're doing it. Totally, because if you get it, then you're going to make the choice that's going to help you sustain something for life. I'm very anti-fad diets. Good. And just making sure that we're nourishing ourselves. Yes. Hence the word re-nourish the book. <laughs> Go back and re-nourish. <laughs> like but Danielle's really interested and obviously she's an incredible dancer, so she needs to be looking out for her body. Her body is her tool and if you eat right, your body treats you right. Yeah. So and I know that these do. guys are like super into yeah. knowing about health and you know, ways that they can still enjoy food and be mm. healthy. Because, because food is enjoyment, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's what is really lost because sometimes you're always too busy thinking about what I shouldn't be eating or what I should take out rather than what we can put in. Um, yes. Yeah. So on that note, yes. today we are making something <laughs> from page 141 of uh, Rihanna's <laughs> book called a rainbow pizza omelette. First okay. of all, it's got the word rainbow in it, so I'm like, like <laughs> win. Okay, win. Um, okay, so what? What okay. is what is this? Before we start, what right. is it? Okay, so I've always loved making an omelette in the morning, something simple, but why not try and chuck as much veg and make it super, super tasty, like you feel like you're getting this really indulgent thing, whereas actually it's an egg base, you've got the mozzarella cheese, and I love pizza, so I thought why not try and have it for breakfast, yeah. why not adapt the recipe, and you're getting like, I would say nearly three of your five a day in this, so. Incredible. Awesome. We pre-chopped already the tray of veggies. Yes. So what I'd love you to do, my darling, is just put some olive oil over. Okay. Because we're going to roast the vegetables, first of all, in the oven. So you could do this the night before. Um, you know, if you're really busy, what I tend to do at the weekends is just make a batch of roasted veg, and then I make sure that lasts for at least two or three days in the week. So you're all about a bit of prep. Totally. Okay. About it. And it saves money too. Okay, right. Put so I'm going to have to there. a bit of that over. So yeah, especially roasting with olive oil. So olive oil is known for tons of heart benefits. So good healthy heart, good healthy fats, your polyunsaturated fatty acids, all those kind of things. Nice. That's what you want. That's Do you want to okay. use your fingers? Or yeah, yeah, I've got clean hands. Get so it stuck just... in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put that in the oven for I would say maybe 20 to half an hour just for it to roast nicely because we're going to use this for our okay. pizza topping. And what have we got here? We've got red peppers. Yeah, red peppers, aubergine, courgette. Yeah. To be honest, if you love like, let's say cauliflower is your favourite veg. Yeah. I don't know actually if anyone's favourite veg would be cauliflower, but... Oh, I don't mind a bit of roasted okay. cauliflower. Basically, you can pretty much add whatever you want. Should we do a half and half so that then Joe can get involved and enjoy it as well? Joe can have some okay, too. we're going to make a it. half and half. This is the thing. Okay. Who okay. needs a pizza takeaway when you can make your own? Exactly. So right, so this is going in. in. Do you watch it and maybe give the veg a little bit of a mix okay. halfway through. So we're now going to whisk the eggs and we're going to add some seasoning. So I think okay. you've already prepped the seasoning there for us. Yes, this is, these aren't the exact measurements. I just <laughs> put a load in, in a glass. So You don't need to measure everything. So, I mean, I've got, I've got teaspoons if you need. So we've got five, five eggs. Is yep. that right? Yep. Okay, let so me can whisk that in. I mean, to be honest, if you, yeah, so if you're making it at home for more people, you can use six eggs, or if you want a slightly smaller base, you could reduce that as well, but I think this is a good amount. Okay. Is that page? No. Yeah, totally Sorry, top of it. Bang it on the side. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, do, do it. That. Let me see. Let me watch this. Do you know what? I've never seen anyone actually crack an egg like, like that. And that is chop. so much easier than cracking it on the side yeah, of the bowl. Yeah, just make a clean cut. <laughs> Look at this. Brilliant. 
<laughs> this is how my mum always You're like, what am I doing that's special here? <laughs> I know, like this is how I've always done it. Honestly, every kitchen I've ever worked in, I've never seen that. And I think that is so much better than what I've been doing. And I'm going to adopt the Danielle Pisa egg cracking method. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm making waves in the nutrition You are. Move aside, nutrition. Woo! It's Shoot all about it. me and my egg cracking skills. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is, when we're putting the eggs in, we're gonna add, I'm just gonna use my fingers. So, depending how spicy you like, do you like spice? Um, I'm not a fan of anything too spicy. I usually okay. tend, I go for more mild. So a tiny pinch of the chili flakes then. We're not oh, gonna put, put it in put, now. Yeah, okay, you're gonna before season you whisk. the eggs, yeah. Talk so, to me about tamarind. Okay, so all the studies, I'm sure you probably heard it's this miracle food. Yeah. Right. It does have an incredible compound in it, which does have benefits. However, you have to have a lot of it. I would say even maybe more than that. Oh, really? To get the benefits? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the studies use supplements, not actual turmeric. You want to give that a good whisk. It's perfect. So I'm going to put the heat on the pan. Or I might let you do it if it's your hob and I don't know how to use your hob. Do you want to whisk yeah, it more and I'll um, switch it? Yep. Switch it and I'll do um, So when you're whisking, it's always good to get a little bit of air in. Okay. Especially with the somnet because we want it to go a little bit fluffy. Fluffy. Okay. Yep. So on a kind of low heat, like you would normally for an omelette, and we'll put a teeny bit of olive oil in the pan. Oil. Perfect. That much. So you want to be able to feel, the tip with omelettes is making sure that you feel the heat coming through the pan. So okay. you just want to wait till you feel that coming through. Okay. Because then it's going to cook. Do we have a spatula? We do. We've got, I've got this one. Perfect. Yeah. Superstar. Brilliant. So we've got our spatula. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know. Oh, nice. It's so simple. And honestly, this takes no time at all in the morning. Once you know what you're doing. It's Especially if you prep. Yeah. Like it's you said. getting the ingredients out of the fridge. And you can mix it up. So I use mozzarella cheese. But if you don't love mozzarella, I mean, I like how it melts. Yeah, oh god. I, I know. I know. I mean, but halloumi is another okay. option. So you could top it with halloumi or maybe like some cheddar cheese. Oh god, okay. You're giving me I know. all of the good vibes <laughs> with the cheese. You're going to eat that after. Right, so the oil is definitely good. Give it a whisk around the pan. Well, yeah, that's about a good thickness. Yeah, yeah five eggs. When, when I first yeah. saw five eggs, I thought, oh, god, that's not a lot. <laughs> but actually, yeah, you're right. Like, you think of a pizza yeah, base. Yeah. You want... And you're splitting that. And the thing is, there's a big myth with eggs. People think that eggs raise cholesterol. You know, it's like that myth, isn't there, yeah. that, oh, if you eat, you shouldn't have eggs if you've got high cholesterol levels, yeah. but actually, they contribute to the good cholesterol. Okay. They don't affect the growth of the bad cholesterol, your low-density lipoprotein, so LDL. Yes. If you ever get your blood test done, yeah. you'll see HDL and LDL, and you want good HDL, low LDL. LDL, okay, LDL yeah. is low. I've always heard that yolk is like the fat. fat. Yeah, yeah, but it's good fat. It's good fat, like avocado fat. Yeah, and like olive oil. Okay. So you want to whisk it around, so you'll notice that in the middle it'll cook in the centre of the pan first. Yeah. So you're going to keep swirling the mixture of the egg around the edges uh, once it starts okay. doing that. So that's how you keep that perfect round consistency throughout. This is where I've always gone wrong with an omelette then. Do you yeah. want to thinly slice the mozzarella? Oh god, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I would say, depending how much you love mozzarella, between two, you could probably have that mozzarella, but maybe do half for now. Okay. And you can see how liberal you want to be, and you can always add a bit extra. And you can see here you're getting that air bubble in the middle of the pan, and this is when we're going to keep swirling the, the mixture around the sides of the pan. The omelette is looking like it's really good to go, so I'm going to turn the heat off actually now because okay. it'll still be hot. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. You could just turn it off. Yeah. yeah. So there's but still a little bit obviously yeah. moving around, but that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine because it's going to go back in the oven. So what we're going to do now is place the toppings on. So if you want to put the mozzarella out, however you like. Okay. So in the book, actually, you can see. Um, so we kind of spread it evenly like the actual pizza, but if you want one side, for instance, the tuna side to be a bit heavier on the cheese or lighter on the cheese, you can pick whatever oh, you guys oh, like. Get more mozzarella, you're not <laughs> and we have only used half of it, so we could still You could always add some more if you want some more. But. And I add the spinach also straight away because you want it to wilt under the heat. You know, there's nothing uh, worse than having... Oh, I didn't know if that was for now or after or when Yeah, was for, I kind of like the whole really well done spinach thing, but if yeah. you don't, you can just chuck it on afterwards. So we'll let that settle down a little bit, and then we're going to add the sun-dried tomatoes as okay. well. So we can add that on the top. Well, I would normally say around six, so you okay. can just and you don't chop them; you just put them on exactly as they are. Okay. I love sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. 
they honestly make me feel like I'm back on holiday. I'm yes. in Italy or something, enjoying glass of wine. Oh, sunshine, sunshine. sunshine. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And then again, you can season with some extra salt and pepper. If you like salt and pepper, I wouldn't go too heavy on it because you've got a lot of flavor anyway from the roasted veg that you've got coming out as well. Oh, look how lovely that's looking. Mum, look what I'm creating. <laughs> So do you get all your kind of um, cooking inspiration from your mum? Yeah, my mum definitely did the, most of the cooking yeah. growing up. Um, obviously, being half Italian, she exactly, is, so exactly. there was a lot of pasta involved, a lot of yeah, Italian yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but now I'm quite fortunate because now my boyfriend does a lot of the See, cooking because he's half Italian. Exactly, so, so you and Joe have got a good thing We've there. got a good thing going on. I mean, yeah. Italians are the founders of the most incredible Mediterranean diet. It's the healthiest diet in the world. Yeah, but they live like a yeah. long time. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're only rivaled by like Asia. So let's add the vegetables on top of the pizza. So yeah. be very careful. So, oh no, that's right. You can keep that. <laughs> are, are we putting it back in here, right? I think yeah, we would. Yeah, keep the other okay. Yeah. So once your vegetables are nice and roasted, or you can half do them if you like them a little bit more al dente, as they would say in Italy. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so if you want to add the amount that you would like okay. on your pizza. And then you can keep the leftovers, guys, if you've done this anywhere. And you can make this again the next day for breakfast. Or I love adding to pastas, loads of roasted vegetables. Chuck it in with some olive oil. It's such a quick, easy dinner. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got a massive... Like, oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that is Let's just, yeah, that's really, my chopping. So Let's, with the knife, look. Look. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfectly chopped, but it is... But it's just not chopped. So let's leave it at that and we can that save the others. I think that's covered in vegetables. Okay. That is good. This is a whole meal. So it's good to have loads of vegetables on your pizza. I mean, you don't have to put that much if you want. Could you add more mozzarella on top after if you wanted to? Why not layer it up? I mean, we can add the tuna now as well. So yeah, we can add okay. some flakes of tuna. So we're just adding it to half of our yeah, pizza. Because we're having half vegetarian side, half pescatarian side yes. to this pizza. Okay. Yeah. And even if you didn't have the veggies, if you've got frozen veg at home, you can even whack some frozen veg on top of your pizza. Oh, yeah. okay. It's so it easy to, fresh, to No, because frozen food holds. is so much healthier sometimes than the actual vegetables we get on the really? shop shelf. Because they're picked and frozen immediately. It, re it retains all the nutrition. That looks beautiful. Okay, we've got half and half. There guys. we go. Okay, so we're going to add it to the other. Maybe we, we should put some tin foil around the handle. And we're going to let this grill for around three to five minutes okay. in the oven. Right, so do I need to change it onto a grill? Oh, okay. I think it'll be fine in there. Okay, careful with your Okay, it should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Plate. Let's add it inside. So we can now check the omelette. I'm going to use these gloves. I'm not going to go. Oh, I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Look at that. Can I put it down on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, go for it. Right, let's turn your oven off. And we made a little side salad out of the leftover um, roasted veggies. So you yeah. had leftover spinach in your bowl. And then you could just have something on the side, maybe chuck some cheese on, feta cheese. And you could have it later tonight. You can have it later when I go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good. Okay, let's serve this up onto the plate. Maneuvering this one is always interesting. Okay. So you want to go around the edges, first of all, to loosen it. Give it a go. Perfect. It smells so good. I know. Look at that. Tea hot. Yes, perfect. Okay, so watch we're going to watch it go. Watch it go. It's going to yeah. shift over a little bit. Yeah, good teamwork there. There was a moment there, I thought it might all go wrong. <laughs> Wonderful, voila, and you have your pizza omelette. Your half tuna, half veggie. Oh my that god, out. look at that. There you go, lunch And it set. literally took like, no time at all. I know, in the morning it's going to be so quick. If you've already prepped your roasted veg, mm -hmm. that is what, five to ten minutes on here, that's it takes no time at all and you staple ingredients you've got at home. So this is one of how many recipes in the book? <laughs> I've got like 80 recipes in that Okay, <laughs> this is one of 80 recipes and they're all super easy. Honestly, right? babe, I'm not a chef. Simple, easy, quick. I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I do not want to be slaving over slow hours. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to put this recipe in the description box and then I'm going to put the link to Rianne's book 
down there as well, as well as all of her social media handles. So if you guys have any nutrition questions, I know that you ask me a lot of the time, I'm not qualified, I can just give advice, but it's not necessarily, you know, obviously got the backing of all the education yeah, yeah. That you've got. <laughs> so like ask her questions because that is what she is here for. And um, if you're based in London, go and see her on Harley Street. And make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and comment below anything else you would like to see. But I'm gonna go eat my pizza. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to enjoy this. Enjoy that. Babe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.